the, the good news is, is that, that Jesus had come back to the other side of the Sea of Galilee and he was going into the fishing village of Capernaum and like the crowd that had heard, she too had heard that Jesus was back. And so she set out to, 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 uh, to, to, to reach Jesus and said, if I can just touch him, he doesn't even have to say anything to me. If I can just touch him, I will be well. God Almighty. I, I tell you, that's something, isn't it? You ever felt like that? that, that, that you know, you ever got up some Sunday mornings and, and you, you were just so far down and, and you just said, if I can just get to church, if I can just get to the house of the Lord just one more time, I know I'm going to be all right. So this woman says, it, she, she, she said, if I could just get to Jesus. Now, this, this thing tells us that um, some things about how Jesus, Jesus heals. It reminds us that Jesus healed. And, and so there are three uh, quick things I want to say about this. And, and the first is, is that, is, that, is that she heard about Jesus. All right? You, you see, you, you got to... You got to hear about him. She heard about Jesus. The text is, it says, after, after hearing about Jesus, in the King James, it's written in the past, it's, she had, after she had heard about Jesus, these, these, these participial clauses, she, she had heard about Jesus, and then she acted on it. We, we, don't, we, we don't know what she heard about Jesus or when she heard about Jesus, but at some point she heard. And, and she saw the excitement herself because of the crowd. Can I, can I take you to a chapter in Mark? Look at Mark chapter 1, verses 32, uh, 33, and 34. Mark chapter 1, verses 32 through 34. Jesus' ministry was just kind, of, just kind of meteoric. You know, it was going off the charts. People everywhere were coming to him because he was able to heal the blind. He was able to make the lame walk. He, he, was, he was able to cast out demons. And Mark said, that uh, when evening came after the sun had set, they began bringing to him all who were ill and those who were demon possessed and the whole city had gathered at the door. The whole city had gathered at the door and he healed many who were ill with various diseases and cast out demons and he was not permitting the demons to speak because they knew who he was. Here is what may have prompted this woman. She heard that there was no condition that was beyond the reach of Jesus. She had heard that he healed everyone who came to him. She, she had heard that, it, that if you get to him, he will heal you. And, and, and the good news is, is that, that, that in all of, the, all of the stuff that was going on in her life, somebody told her about Jesus. You know, people today need to hear about Jesus. They need to know that he is able to do anything but fail. They need to know that he can turn uh, their darkest midnights into the sunshine of a new day. They, they need to know that he can take the filthiest person and wash away every stain. They, they need to know that he can mend broken hearts. Uh, he, he can storm, he can steal the storms of life that Jesus can make our families stronger and our communities safer. And if you are here today, I declare unto you that you do not have to leave here today broken and hurting because Jesus is able to heal you. You don't have to leave hurting disillusioned, disappointed, or wondering how you can repair the breach in your life, we know that Jesus is able. And he is God's beloved son uh, who was given as a sacrifice for our sins. Isaiah said that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of his peace was upon our peace was upon him and with his stripes you and I are healed. Bring to him whatever you got and he can fix it. I tell you, he'll fix it. Won't he do it? 